It's always nice when you finish class to summarize what happened. Right, but what I'm going to summarize, I'm just going to talk about rather than demonstrate. You want to try to teach your uh, students principles of IQ. And the techniques are just a vehicle for teaching those principles. Because the principles will last them a lot longer in their martial arts career than any technique that you teach them. Because once you know the principles, then the techniques are kind of easy. Right? Yeah, you might have to worry about moving which way or which foot forward, but you'll be able to figure it out. So the biggest gift you can give to your students you share with them your knowledge, you share with them your understanding of the principles of IQ. Alright, so unfortunately we, we ran out of time, Russ, so I was going to ask some of the higher ranks, see what they know about Kantura Gamanucci. And not repeat anything anybody else has done before, so that'd be very hard. But I, I just try to give you a few techniques, a few uh, teaching methods that I use to keep their attention. Because that's what you want. When they get bored, they start to study knitting or tennis or something else. So you got to keep them engaged, keep them engaged, keep them engaged. So like the last two techniques, right? Except for John Lotus, probably has brand new for you guys, and now you're thinking about it, right? So the next time you see me, you'll say, what's that? What was that called? What was that gnarly technique you did on with the ankle? So that keeps you engaged. That keeps you wanting to come back and learn more. So you always want to leave them with a little bit of doubt. They don't have to understand everything you understand. Keep them engaged in the class. So the, the two messages is keep them engaged, have a path, a positive experience that helps them keep engaged and teach them the principles. All right? Thank you very much for allowing me to share a little bit of what I know about Aikido and we're going to close class.